Yaskawa. <lacht> First, we'll select tuning from the main menu of the HMI. As you can see, this mode is going to showcase the out-of-the-box adaptive tuning capability of the Sigma 5, as well as the advanced auto-tuning. First, let's select to load the out-of-the-box parameters. Now we need to cycle control power. While we're waiting for it to reboot, we'll go ahead and remove the inertia disk from the motor. Now we're going to utilize the tracing function of the Sigma Win Plus software. Select the axis number, connect, and now let's select trace on the top menu, and then to trace, and we need to select setup, the monitor's position completion, and then select set and we need to change our sampling time to 1000 and select OK. Now let's select start from the trace window and in the demo case we first want to make sure that our servo is enabled and now select start move and now we're going to select stop move. Now that we've captured our trace we want to go ahead to the data tab on the top and we're going to actually hide the torque reference to get a better view. And now we need to pull up the cursors. And we're going to move the A cursor to the end of the move. And the B cursor to the falling edge of the coin signal. And in the cursor window you can see that the settling time is around 231 milliseconds. Now let's see how the servo can adapt to a 20 to 1 inertia ratio from the 1 to 1 inertia ratio by adding the discs back to the motor. Now let's select start in the trace window again and make sure our servo is enabled and then select start move. and now stop move. Now let's go ahead and hide the torque reference again and bring up the cursor window and as you can see our settling time has remained nearly unchanged with the increased inertia load. Now we're going to load the advanced auto tuning parameters and we're going to cycle control power now this parameter set that we just loaded was found using the tuning feature of Sigma Win Plus and it was the advanced auto tuning using no reference input. Details on completing the tuning procedure can be found online in an e-learning module. Now whereas the out of the box parameters were optimized for a dynamically changing inertia load, the advanced auto tuning parameters or optimized for a static load, in this case the 20 to 1 inertia ratio. So now let's go ahead and trace using the advanced auto tuning parameters we just loaded. Now let's select start in the trace window again and enable our servo and select start move. And now let's hide the torque reference signal again and now let's bring up the cursors again and we're going to leave the A channel where it was previously and we're going to move the B channel to the falling edge of the coin signal and as you can see our settling time is reduced to around 61 milliseconds now you can also see in the trace that the position error is reduced throughout the entire motion profile And if you're wondering about the parameters that we changed in the tuning section, we're going to go ahead and show you those now. 
if we go to parameters and edit parameters and then you can select differ from constant tab and the main parameters we changed are PN100, 101, 102, and 103 and you can see where the current value differs from the default value there are additional tuning parameters that were changed as well as you scroll down but we wanted to highlight the main four there and now let's select back to exit out of the tuning mode